you do wow. that. Wow. It's really slick, right? You get a really yeah. nice user interface and it, you get bigger posters at the top. And guys, yeah. this is all using the same component. So I really want to stress that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a row.css file. So I think I might be able to do it. Row.css. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we created nice. a row.css. And if I go to the top and I import that file, so this is a benefit of using components because now we can only we can have all of our uh, row CSS inside of uh, its own file, which is yep. neat. So let's go ahead and actually style that. So let me just check something. So row. Right, so what we need to do here is basically I'm going to actually, so all of these posters, right, I want to just style them a little bit. So I'm going to go here and I'm basically going to say all of the row posters, I want to do a neat little trick. So I want to say the width is going to be 100%, right? So it's only going to use up 100% of the screen um, rather than what doing what it's doing now. So you see now it's corrected and it's sort of fitting within the screen, right? Oh, I'm nice. also going to add another row. So I'm going to say object fit. So this oh, is a really clean. neat trick. Object fit contain will keep the aspect ratio. So regardless of how I move it and shape it and size it, it's going to keep that looking really, really nice. Wait, and the wait, final wait. thing I want to do. Okay. Yep. Is, is it, do you uh, see it? Is it working? Your yep. object contain thing? Yeah. So it, the reason why it's not changing at the moment is because remember the width is 100%. So it's good. So it's using yeah. up 100%, but the aspect ratio is still correct. But yeah. where that comes into play is when I actually say a set of max height. So here, if I say max height of 100 pixels, and yeah. I save this now, check this out. Ooh, nice. Okay. So yeah. let me see. So we have a, a, a quite a nice looking thing there. Yeah. Um, what, what we're trying to get it to, just so we can all visually see it, is like we're trying to get it to look like this, you know. But right now we have. Yeah. Right now we have a giant column, but essentially we need to turn it into a row like that. Yeah. Oh. So the way we do that now is if we go to, remember we actually surrounded all, everything inside of a container called row posters, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna so go ahead and I put- This thing is row. in a container called row posters. And so basically what we're gonna do is maybe drop in Flexbox and then make exactly. it like all column based. So Flexbox will allow us to just do it with like literally two lines and then boom, it'll go from column to a row. Yeah, so if we, sh I'll, I'll comment it out and then I'll uncomment it and show what it does. So yeah. let's have the app running. So, so the local, yeah. So without Flexbox, it does this. If as soon as I add Flexbox into the container, look what happens. Boom. So Whoa, there we go. Remove that flex box. Let's see that in action again. That is sick. So flex box is so nice, you guys. It makes your life so damn easy. Do that again. Exactly. So if soon as I uncomment that, look, boom, oh. it's gonna just change everything. So now we actually have a really nice starting point. Everything's looking good. Mm -hmm. um, I guess what we should do next is <clears throat> I like to add a little sort of transition effect to the poster. So that way, if it ever changes size, it will do it in a really slow way. So that's basically just saying, if it ever changes size for any reason, add a little transition. So it, it basically just takes four, I think that's four and a half, four, so 450, so it's like just under half a second, I think. Um, and it will basically just nicely sort of change size. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a margin right to everything. So right now you see all the pictures are touching each other, right? Yeah. Everything's touching each other, but we kind of want to have this. Ooh, so that. remove that, that again. So do it a few so times. Whenever you do these changes, do it a few times, like repeat it yeah. a few times so you can visually see it. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Love that. You see that? It's a really nice sort of effect, right? And then it yeah. sort of, then it stops everything from touching. Um, nice. And what we're going to do next is we're also going to add a hover effect. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say row poster. Oops, row poster. And I'm going to say when you hover over it, yeah. I want to do the following. So I want it to kind of grow a little bit, right? So I want to say here. When you say grow, trans what do you mean by that? You mean like so if, when you say row, we look grow, you literally mean this thing, right? When I hover over this, boom, yeah. it does that nice little 
So basically now exactly. what we're trying to do is build that experience in our app because ours doesn't have that. When I hover over it, it just kind of very static sits there, but we want ours yeah. to grow. Exactly that. And right now what we want to do is remember we added that transition. So it means if we ever change the size, it's going to actually, so anytime we use the transform effect, so I'm going to use that here. So I'm going to say transform and scale to 1.08 of your size, which is just like a sweet spot. Yeah, it's a very light, 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 light amount. So I just tested this out before. So it's a very light, light sweet spot here. And then we're going to say opacity one. Um, so that I can actually get rid of. I don't need that right now. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do now is if we go over it, because I've combined this with transition, so I'm saying, apply a very small delay so don't just pop up and be bigger so we'll show that effect in action so if you just hover over Ooh, uh, you'll look see at that that is clean. really nice right? remove that transform if I, of, if I get rid of the transition look what happens it'll snap so that oh that looks clunky yeah it looks horrible right but if you add a yeah. slight delay this transition then look how Ooh, silky smooth it looks. That is silky smooth. With and with so little like that and that thing yeah. right there. That is nice. It's crazy, right? That is beautiful. So on hover, you guys, that's what's happening. That is cool. And the actual yeah. app, the header and everything stays there. And just this thing moves. Um, and also just that row moves actually. I just realized nothing else moves, just that row. That's really cool. So yeah. here, this entire app moves rather than the row. Yeah, so we want to keep it. We want to kind of keep that s straightforward there. So the way we do that is we go over to our container, uh, which is row posters, and we add this rule here. We say overflow Y should be hidden. So that's, that's we're saying the vertical axes. If there's any sort of room to for for a little scroll bar, we're gonna, we want to hide that, and then we're going to say the X axes should now be a scroll, right? So now look what happens. You add, you add it through in a scroll bar. Nice. That is so clean. All right. That a padding of 20 pixels so that when it grows, it's going to grow and you can see the growth. So that now if you hover over it. Oh, so, so now it doesn't crop. You see that it's not cropping the tops off. Yeah. All right. But if, if I get rid of that padding, look what happens. Yeah, it's it, gonna crop. it zooms in and it crops out. Yeah, I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to, like, if you're going to do a transform, you're going to have to pad your container. Yeah. So that's the first thing. But if you notice in Netflix, like in our clone, we didn't have that little scroll bar because to be honest, it looks a little bit ugly, right? Yeah, that's what, yeah, yeah. So yeah. what you need to do is you need to basically do this special rule. You need to say row posters uh, so row posters and then you say colon colon and you say webkit so it's webkit so I think it's dash webkit and then it's dash scroll bar and then here you basically are saying you're ba this is basically a, a rule to say tell all of the browsers so whether it be in uh, edge chrome uh, firefox whatever you're using display none so this is saying don't ever display your scroll bars but keep the functionality of it uh nice that is clean yeah. no more scroll bars so that way it looks really nice right yeah so that's that's really cool so then we get that working and everything sort of nice in that front now what we're gonna do and this is gonna blow your mind a little bit so we've basically just set up the row, right? We've set up a row. It's, it seems to be all good. Everything seems to be nice. Um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a little optimization here. So in React, whenever we render a big list, so in this case, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but when you've got 20 items in a row and then you've got a bunch of those rows, we should be rendering it in the most efficient way. And React has something called a key, right? And here, if you pass, you just need to pass some unique information here, which is unique to that specific, in, the, in our case, each of those pictures, we need to give it like an identity, right? So that way, if anything changes in that row, React doesn't simply re-render the entire row, it just re-renders what it needs to re-render, right? So in the, what we can do here is we can say movie.id, because each of those movies that came back actually had their own ID. Yeah. So we can go ahead and do that. And that will fix it for us. 
So if I do this and save it, now what you can see is it, it you wouldn't notice much, but it's actually a slightly bit faster than what it was before. Nice. Right? So that's a, that's a small optimization step that you do. So okay. we're going to have a little bit of magic here where we're basically, we've just built a bunch of components and we built it in such a way that it's going to be really impressive to show you something now. So if I go ahead and I just paste these components out, so inside of the app, the really nice thing now is we have a bunch of different categories. So we've got trending now, we have top rated, so top rated. Just to be clear, rated. I'm going to say here so they can see it. <clears throat> So we have yep. top rated, which is going to be this category right here. What's the next? I think it's action movies. Mm -hmm. Action movies right That's there. It. It's comedy movies. Yep. Then it's horror movies. Mm -hmm. There we go. And here, what we're going to do is we are going to add in the appropriate requests. So this is a, another example of if you build something right, it's actually going to be very easy and it's going to make your life super easy when it comes to doing it. I just need to get the request to my screen because I don't get the autocomplete uh, mm -hmm. for some reason. Um, so let me go ahead and open up requests. So now let's go ahead and pop these in. So we've got fetch, top rated. So this one's top rated, fetch. And Kazi, you can start from the bottom and I'll start from the top. Uh, you can start popping them in if you want. So I'm following movies. you, so I'll stop following you. Oh yeah. So fetch action movies, comedy, and horror movies. There we go. So that one's documentaries, and that one's because this is how you guys are going to see it. So romance, that one is. Yep. And then the final one is horror movies. So I think let's swap this one out. Mm -hmm. So this one is dot uh, fetch horror movies. Awesome. Uh, now, if I just click save, <laughs> the whole app, the whole app is literally going to do its magic. Oh, it's snap, That's son. That's so cool. That just worked. Just clean. It just works. Look at that. Nice. Uh, hover over it. So nice. Damn. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is let's go over to app.css. So when you actually start off, guys, I want you to get rid of this stuff. So go ahead and clear out app.css. It will change the look and feel of your app, but we don't want to have anything inside of our app. What I would recommend is you go inside here and you add this one rule, which does this. We say margin zero. So because by default, the browsers give you this weird margin. So if you notice on the right where Kazi's uh, got the preview open, as soon as I add this rule and I save, Look at the imaginary margins that are going to disappear, right? See that? It gets rid of all those imaginary margins, right? And we just don't want those to start with because we don't want to deal with them. Um, so that's something just to a side note. You want to get... <laughs> I love that. Arrow. You want to just get rid of that stuff. And then that way, all of your styling is going to be all of your actual styling. It's not going to be getting rid of things. Index.css, you can leave this stuff. This is just going to be some font stuff. So unless you change the fonts, I'll just keep this. Um, but app.css, that would change. Okay, so now, with that said, we've got a nice looking app. But uh, if you know, it's the app that we saw earlier. Uh, so we had the, the Netflix originals were bigger than the trending now top rated. So we had larger tiles. So notice how the those you see the tiles here are bigger right so let's go down mm -hmm. so notice how the tiles are bigger and also if you look a bit further down you'll see on trending now we we don't actually have uh the the posters we have these other thumbnails right yeah yeah so we need to fix this and but we want to use the same component but we just want to have a slight variation what i'm going to do now is i'll show you how we can actually do that so for that bigger one, what we're going to do is we're going to pass in a is large row. So is large row, right? And by default, what this means is it means true, but you don't actually have to write that. Um, so we're going to pass this in. So if we go over to row, I'm going to go and pull in that prop. So we're pulling that in. And now I'm basically going to render the styles based on this. So the first difference I want to have is rather than having a poster, I want to have it so that um, if the if we're using a large row, don't use the poster path, but use the back. It's something called the backdrop path. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, if you're using a large row, then use the poster path. Otherwise, use the movie.backdrop path. And this will make sense in a sec when we save it. So as soon as I save this, notice on the right now, all of the trending now top rated and everything. Look what happens. You see that? Looking nice. Yeah, but the sizing is, is the opposite way now. So we want those to be smaller and the other one to be a bit bigger, right? Yeah. So the way we fix that is we go over to our row.css and I just need to do a, a few different rules now. So firstly, I need to apply a class name based on which one was actually coming in. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna do some string concatenation. So I'm gonna do this. So I'm just gonna do a little change, a tweak here. And I'm gonna say everything gets a row poster class everything gets the original row poster but if it's a large row so if it's a large row then i'm going to give it a, an additional sort of class called row poster large row poster large right and what this is going to do is we're going to style it basically and say you get the bigger styles if you are a larger row right so if we go into row.css mm -hmm. now what i'm going to say is that the larger rows are going to get a max height of 250 pixels. Mm -hmm. So they're going to get slightly bigger. So if you see the normal rows got 100 pixels, but the bigger one is going to get a 250 pixel limit. So this is going right. to be the Netflix original one. Yeah. So now you see they're Boom. a bit bigger, right? Yep. They're a bit bigger. And then we go over here and we say row, and then I'm going to add another hover rule. So just like we done here, but instead, I'm going to say this one gets a slightly bigger hover. So it's, it's not 0 point, it's one, it's not 0 0.08, it's 0 0.09 instead, right? Oh, and this damn. One. So now, check this out. Look at that. So now if you do wow. that, it's really sick, right? You get a really yeah. nice user interface and it, you get bigger posters at the top. And guys, yeah. this is all using the same component. So I really want to stress that. So now we have a, oh, just by passing in one prop, we can differentiate if, if that row is a large row or if it's a small row.